All right, guys. So we know the first year anniversary is coming up really, really fast, and it is basically two months away. Two months away, because the game came out officially globally on August 28th. So we are very close, actually. And with the how fast these months are going by, well, <laughs> I would probably say they're going by pretty slow now. But uh, but regardless, the two, uh, the first year anniversary is coming up very quick, and. I have some ideas or speculations on what I think they could do for the first year anniversary, which would actually be insane. For us players that play Pokemon Masters, I think this would be very, very cool if they do stuff like this in the game for the first year anniversary, because then that would make it a huge celebration. Because for any game to reach one year on the App Store and still doing pretty good, is a major success in my books and if they add in the stamina system then i don't know a lot of players are going to quit i know uh what i've seen on twitter a lot of people might quit so who knows uh like if they see a major drop in player base after they add in the stamina system then they're definitely gonna remove it as soon as possible just so people can come back hopefully so yeah uh but anyways one of the things this is, this is not going to be in any kind of order, uh, but I'm just going to spitball and just throw in random ideas. Anyways, so for the first one, I think, because when they released uh, the news of them at, like officially adding in the stamina system, uh, they also mentioned that they're going to be adding in shiny eggs, like you have a chance to get shiny Pokemon from the eggs, and uh, that's awesome. That's awesome, but going forward, now that we know that we can get shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Masters, imagine having shiny scouts. So like for example, the first anniversary, let's say we get Signet Suit Blue, Signa another Signet Suit Red, and uh, a Signet Suit Leaf or Green, wh whatever her name is. <laughs> let's say we get those three on a big banner, on a big uh, sick banner. Let's say we get those three, and their main Pokemon are shiny Pokemon. That would actually be... <laughs> that would be awesome. Like, imagine having a shiny Sigma Suit uh, Red Charizard, uh, a shiny Blaster for blue, and a shiny Venusaur for leaf or green. That would be sick, and that would actually probably make them more money too. Uh, I'm not saying this just because, like, oh, yeah, like, let, let's give them money. No, I'm just saying, like, that would be super cool, even free to play players, if you can pull, like, this would make the value of the banner extremely high, because it's not like they're gonna make a shiny, uh, sick pair banner every single time, it would be, like, on a special occasion, so it would incentivize you to, like, the value of the, of the Sigma Suit banner, or the, the sick pair banner, would be very high. So like, even if you're saving up uh, uh, your uh, your gems, this kind of banner would be worth it. Because who doesn't want a shiny Pokemon, especially a shiny Charizard? So <laughs> that would that would be very cool. And if the Pokemon is shiny, then like they could have like an alternate color for um, uh, the characters, like, the actual characters, not the Pokemon, but like red, blue, uh, and leaf. Like they could have alternate colors to match. They're shiny, so that would that would make the banner very very cool. And like for the first year anniversary, I could definitely see them doing something like that. So having a shiny uh, Saint Pair summon, I think that would be very cool. So that's one of the ideas that I have that they could possibly do. But I highly doubt they're going to do something like that. I just thought of it because if they're going to add in shiny Pokemon into the game, which basically is confirmed because they said shiny eggs. So, yeah, that's an idea there, and uh, I think anybody <laughs> would think that would be freaking awesome. So, yeah, another idea that I have for the first year anniversary is, like, for, okay, so, the anniversary will most likely start on August 28th, because that's when the game came out. During August 28th to, like, maybe the end of September, let's say, for example, we get an increased drop rate for items. So like if we're trying to form up uh, the three star level up manuals, we get a drop rate increase uh, like by three times or something like that. And uh, instead of like if you get lucky, you get three three star level up manuals in one run. 
you could possibly get like 10 or 12 in one run because of uh, the increased uh, uh, item drops during the, the one year anniversary. That would actually be very cool and a lot of games actually do that anyways where you get an increased drop rate or an increased amount of items during a certain period of time. Uh, I know a lot of the other Gashi games that I play, they do stuff like that or they give you like a bonus. So basically like what's the whole event but like that stays throughout the, the general period of, uh, of playing during like uh, the anniversary. So I think that would actually be very cool. And uh, yeah, so that's my second one. And my notifications are going off because I am stupid and totally forgot to turn or block the notification. <laughs> oh man, okay. So anyways, that's my second idea that they could add in for the first year anniversary, which I think would be very cool. Uh, another thing that you could possibly add is like a step up summon like I don't know if they'll do this but I know a lot of other gacha games do that like for the first anniversary like if they do have they're most likely gonna have a big uh sync pair summon anyways so like if they do like a step up like for example you do three summons and then the fourth summon will be completely free like you don't need to spend any gems at all and uh you get a free summon after three regular summons that you could do. Cause I know this, I got that idea from Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Cause they do that on uh, on a lot of banners actually now too, for on the, the global side. Not the Japanese side of the uh, the game, but just the, the global. And having something like that would actually be very cool. Because you could also save quite a bit of gems too, while summoning more. So that would also incentivize you, or incentivize people to spend more money. Well not incentivize, but like it would make you want to spend more because then you get a free summon. So like let's say you spend $30 uh, to be able to summon three times, and then after the three times you get a free summon. So in a way, you're like, you're getting your money's worth. I would, I would say so, but that would be pretty cool. And for the first year anniversary, they would want to make a good celebration and put in a lot of cool stuff. So those are my ideas on what they could add for the first year anniversary. I definitely got more ideas and I'll probably make a, a part two of this because I have so many ideas that I want to go through. But anyways, if you have, if you guys have, have any cool ideas, leave it down below and I will see you guys on my next video.